As you probably know, I'm a huge advocate for scriptural music. I think we should be using it more in our worship and just listening around the house, just more scripture everywhere. But whenever I bring this up, often people wonder, well, where do I find scriptural music? How much scriptural music is even out there? And the truth of the matter is, is there isn't as much scriptural music as we would like, particularly in a variety of genres. However, there are new tools that are coming around all the time, including this one I'm going to talk about from Suno, and this one allows you to, wait for it, literally make a song with music and arrangement and a vocal track in seconds. I know, it's pretty crazy. So I'm going to show you how this works. So it's really similar to any sort of LLM or any sort of text-to-image uh, generator uh, from uh, AI. All you have to do is just type what you want and then hit the little generate button. So imagine I would like a 50s pop adaptation of Psalm 53, and I'll say I want a catchy chorus, and then I'll have to hit the little create button which I'm actually hiding right now. It's right there. Create button. <laughs> and then it's going to get to work. Now, it does not take it very long. In fact, just to demonstrate how long it's going to take, I'm going to keep talking and I'm not going to edit at this time. And then I'll show you some of the great examples that I have found. So I have told it to make a 1950 style song and it's coming, it came up with pop, doo wop, upbeat. It kept going and it started to generate these lyrics. These lyrics, I did not do anything besides adapting Psalm 53. And you'll notice that it has given me some rhymes, uh, deny and high hearts and part, not exact rhymes, uh, pop rhymes, but that's fine. This is a pop song, right? It says in their heart, they're tearing apart a uh, Lord and word and whoa, whoa, and all of this stuff. So, you know, now we have a chance to sit here and wait and see what's going to happen uh, when we finally get uh, our sound, which is just going to take another moment. And it even generates a fun little image uh, to go with it. Now, you can export anything you generate in here as an MP3 or as a video. And if you do a video, it'll give you the lyrics uh, plus uh, this... Um, It'll give you the lyrics, uh, plus, of course, the audio. All right, let's go ahead and take a listen to this. This world, the foolish ones deny. The existence of a power so high. Now, this is probably not a style you've heard scripture music in a lot, right? There's not a lot of 50s doo-wop scripture songs. So high. You'll notice there was a little bit of pitch issues there. It wasn't spot on, right? This may not seem ready for prime time. The results are going to vary, right? You're not always going to get the same. And uh, you get two results every time uh, you get a little pull at the slot machine, which is uh, the uh, generator. <laughs> see and something an example like this this feels like maybe something that would be a fun sketch a fun place to start 
However, it does get a lot better. Uh, 50s pop is not something that uh, this uh, AI has maybe the best examples of, is maybe doesn't understand as well. What if I just did a standard pop song? So for this example, I specifically told it to make a pop song that quotes John 3.16. All right, let's take a listen. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. And anyone who believes in him, well, they will not be done. Eternal life they shall receive Everlasting love so true Oh, the love that saves us all That's John 3.16 I mean, that sounds dead on, right? That sounds like something that could be on the radio right now. Um, it's not 100% quality, right? You could still get some distortions. It doesn't quite land it. But wow, is that awfully close. And certainly, again, as a sketch, if you're like uh, in a worship team or something, you're quite close to something there. All right, so let's take a look at some other psalms. All right, so here's another style. I have picked bluegrass, and I'm looking for an adaptation of Psalm 15. And again, I told it to give me a catchy chorus. Let's take a listen. Lord, who made well in your sacred team. This one's really clear. Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose way is blameless and just oh, so does what is righteous and speaks the truth From the heart whose tongue utters no slander They are the ones who will never be shaken I mean, it's spectacular, right? Let's take a listen to the other one. Very different style. Alright, so this one's giving me a acapella intro. On your holy mountain. You can see you got the dynamics, you got I mean, again, there's a little bit of distortion, but very impressive. Now, uh, there's a limit right now of how long a clip can be. It's about a minute and 20 seconds is how long it can get. And you might be saying, all right, this is really impressive, but like, how much does this cost? You can run five generations from this website for free every single day. All right. They give you five free generations. After that, you do have to pay. Now you have to pay in, in groups. There's subscription levels. It works out to about three cents a poll. Now, you may not want to generate as much as they sell in packs. However, you know, find some friends and family and work together. Uh, three cents a pull is really not that expensive considering some of the output uh, that you can get. Now, what if I switched it up and I said I wanted a folk rock adaptation? What would it come up with? Let's see. Who may dwell within your sacred tent, O oh Lord? Keep their word and honor. It's 
all right. It's a little dry. Let's try the other one. You make well within your sacred tent, oh. I'm enjoying this a lot more. You may live upon your I don't like the fact that that one didn't change that much in the chorus. It doesn't always have a dramatic chorus shift, right? Sometimes you have like a big beat drop or something, but not always. And I do prefer it when a song has more dynamics than that. Now, there are a lot of scriptural songs out there in kind of a contemporary folk or maybe even bluegrass, which you don't find are certain styles of music. Like, when was the last time you ever heard a soul Motown groovy adaptation? Well, here's Psalm 1. Let's see what it sounds like. This is the one who walks down the way. All the wicked standing with the storm for all day. But the lights and the long, the long. Like a tree planted by the rivers will grow Oh yeah We shall be like a tree Like a tree Got deep By the rivers of water We shall be It's very interesting how it kind of fluid and it kind of went back and forth. It wasn't like a super solid melody line to attach to, right? But it had a great groove. I was, it was interesting. Um, and to some degree, I like that, right? I like the fact that it makes some interesting choices. Now, let's see what the other one sounds like. got a little bit distorted there, right? It couldn't quite figure it out, but it was so close. It was right on the cusp. It's like, oh, I do it. Um, and this technology is only going to get better. I mean, this is very new. So I am so excited about what is coming next. So let's go to another era and see how it does. Let's see how it does a 1940s big band song. Glory be to the Lord, the King of all. It's a song 24. His strength and power we shall extol. He established the earth upon the seas. It shall forever stand for all to see. Again, it's so close, but wow. It even captures, you know, the sound of an old 91st record. What about this one? can tell it's a complex style it's right on the cusp it doesn't quite get the melody line or the structure right it sounds a little chaotic but wow is it close and it's also again it's a style you don't see there are not a lot of big band songs out there that sing direct adaptations of scripture or close adaptation of scriptures you'll notice it does do a pretty tight adaptation of scripture if you're familiar with these psalms 
sometimes the vocals too are like particularly strong. Like listen to this example of a boogie woogie song. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It's only more of a jazz, but the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? It's trying to find its way, but listen to this chorus. Who shall stand in his holy place? So it's amazing that it'll include those sort of things, right? If it has a little parenthetical element, it'll have like the exclamation, uh, the dynamics of it. It's really impressive. All right. Now, some of these genres you could tell are on the older side, and maybe that's why you get some of this distortion, right? This is true, uh, because it is taking uh, similar tracks and it's learning off of the way it sounded in the past. Uh, the recording isn't the strongest, so therefore the generation isn't as strong. So what about a genre it would know very well, like country? Lord, my light and salvation even here immediately it sounds higher quality. Shall I fear in all creation? Lord my stronghold and refuge. Whom shall I dread when darkness pursues? When evil doers come to devour my flesh. Let's see the chorus. The Lord is my fortress, my shield, and my song. He is my deliverer. I will not be afraid for long. The Lord is my strength, my salvation, and God. And you can see it actually ditched the other lyrics there because it ran out of space in the song. It did a pretty interesting job. I don't know if I like the phrasing in the chorus. Let's hear the other one. Lord, my light and salvation Who shall I fear in all creation? The Lord, my stronghold Here's what the chorus sounds like. Let's move a little bit further. The Lord is my fortress, my shield, and my song. He is my deliverer. I will not be afraid for long. I think this is a better one. You can see it's so much fun, right? You just spend a couple of cents and then you can try again and you can see what kind of results you get and you can sit there. If there's a specific sound you want, you can go over and over. Now, you may have noticed that I put in the uh, suggestion of what it would uh, write and then it literally wrote all the lyrics for me and all of that. What if you actually like writing your own lyrics, right? And you wanted to hear it perform it? That is coming. That's not part of this beta right now. If you go on the Discord server, uh, you can go ahead and do that with the earlier model. But this model, which is Model 2, is a lot better. So I wanted to demonstrate this model to you. But this is still in beta. But it will eventually allow you to put in all of your own lyrics. Um, and it'll also allow you to extend. And that means you can make another generation that's going to continue the song from where you left off. So entire songs will be able to be made. It'll be in a minute and 20 second chunks. But if you think about it, like three of those, and that's a song. So um, this is very exciting. It's still very new, and I'm really looking forward to tinkering with it as well. Now, what about some other uh, genres that you maybe don't hear as much? So what about hip-hop, right? What I love is when you ask it to do something like a hip-hop adaptation of Psalm 37, immediately it starts adjusting the lyrics as well. So I have here, you know, when the wicked prosper and they be and they flexing all the time, which is not a bad uh, paraphrase of what Psalm 37 is trying to get across, to be honest. So let's take a listen to that.
Oh wait, I think it might have flaked out. Hang on. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Sometimes it'll it'll flake out and it'll only give you an instrumental. All right, let's go back. Be wasting all your mind. Uh, Brand they flexing all the time. Uh -huh. Don't fret my brother, don't be wasting all your mind. Uh, be patient and trust in the one who's got your back. Yeah. They bring justice, just keep rolling on your track. Uh, you don't even need to do is they'll fade away, you see. But if you trust in the Lord, you'll be fruitful like a tree. Well, in his land, feed on his faithfulness. Yeah. Yeah. Commit your way to him, trust and he will bless. And he will bless. Be still before the Lord, wait patiently. Wait patiently. In his perfect timing, he'll do what you need. Uh -huh. I mean, that flow is amazing, right? That's just like, bam, 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 bam. Really impressive. Um, Let's hear the other one. It's not a surprise that something like hip-hop in some ways would be easier for something like this to do. There is a, quite a mechanical element to hip-hop, right? In terms of it being rhythmic speech and uh, quite repetitive uh, backing tracks as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it does a really great job. Wicked prosper and they flexing all the time Don't fret my brother, don't be wasting all your mind Be patient and trust in the one who's got your back You yeah. bring justice, just keep rolling on your track Don't even be evil, do us, they'll fade away, you see But if you trust in the Lord, you'll be fruitful like a tree Well in his land, feed on his faithfulness Commit your way, to him trust in he will bless Be still before the Lord, wait patiently in his perfect timing, he'll give what you need. I mean, that's really impressive to me. All right, now, what about some other genre? What about something like metalcore? Like, what if you want to go like super intense? Psalm 37. Born from ashes, we rise against the tide. In this world so corrupt, we won't confide. We want the path of righteousness. It's not too bad, but I wouldn't mind if it actually was a little more intense. Let's see about the next one. I like how the rhythm changed in that. I thought that was really interesting. Um, yeah, no, that's great. Now, what about a Psalm 48 in a 50s doo up style? So again, we're getting that distortion, right? And some of that is because it's trying to duplicate that sound. It just doesn't have as strong of a recording. But again, I think this is something that's going to get better as time goes on. Now, if we just give it a generic prompt, like adaptation of Psalm 150, without any genre, right? It's just going to guess what's the best one. So, of course, it's going to pick something that sounds like fairly standard gospel music. Let's take a listen. I mean, that's really strong. That sounds, again, like something you might hear on the radio. What about the next example? Praise the Lord with all your might. Sing his name from morning to night. And in everything you do, raise your hands up high. Let his love. It's okay. 
Okay, it felt a little bit dreamy. That wasn't exactly what I'm looking for. And honestly, when it comes to Psalm 150, I think it should be more bombastic. So I went ahead and I made a pop version of it. And this time, I want this to be a bombastic song. Let's hear this one. All right, yeah, I'm already liking this one. Hear the chorus. Let everything that is praise. Yes, this is good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I mean, that really does sound like something that could be on the radio right now. Maybe it's not quite as uh, unusual in terms of the genre, right? It sounds like typical worship music but we have actual scriptural lyrics right we are not just singing random things that sometimes come up we are singing things that are very similar this isn't an exact replica but it is or exact adaptation uh, but it is quite close all right let's take another listen Now, I did mention how um, it was a little bit of a paraphrase. What if I really wanted a word for word? Obviously, later I can go ahead and I can drop that in uh, myself. But right now, I can tell it I want a song that includes uh, Psalm 150 word for word. And I think if I do that, it's going to get quite close. So I'm going to see what kind of lyrics come up for it uh, when I do that. But in the meantime, let's go back up. And take a listen to the song. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him with All right, let's see how this chorus goes. The sound of You know, that's not bad. I don't think that's as good as the other one. Seems like it's flaking out on me. Here, let me try another one. Pop song that um, uses the words of Psalm 150 word for word. Let me try that. Could be that it just flaked out a little bit on that last request there. <laughs> there we go. Yes, now this is much closer. Uh, to the exact uh, psalm, it is pretty close. So now I'm actually forcing it to not really adapt. I'm forcing it to take these words that are from Scripture and uh, make it sound nice uh, to a tune. So I am curious. Um, I think this is a good place for us to to end it with this example, provided I get a good example. Otherwise, I might just keep going. Um, but uh, yeah, if there are any uh, psalms or scriptures you would like to see adapted, uh, feel free to let me know, right? I, I have a lot of credits left. I can run some for you, um, and I can add them into the Flare channel. We already have added some. Now, the two songs I put in were actually from the uh, version one, not version two. Uh, but you can uh, hear an adaption of uh, Psalm 19 in an 80s new wave style. And that's on this channel. And if you like and subscribe to this channel, we do 
I do plan on putting some more material out there. All right, let's hear Psalm 150. Let's see how it goes. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him in his holy power. Not too bad yet. Praise him for his service and greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the okay, let's hear the chorus. Praise him with the heart of my Praise him with the temple of dancing. Praise him with the strength of our faith. A little monotone. Let's see about the next example. too bad but again it felt a little monotone i think we could do better i'm curious to see what it generates uh next here so this is a very different um it has a different sort of uh, feel to the lyrics and uh it says pop uplifting anthemic so i mean this has got to work right anthemic all right we're gonna play us out suno uh do your magic all right let's see it The chorus got a little bit better. All right, let's see the other one. If it wasn't for the distortion of the vocal, that was really, really good. But I do think the best one is this one. This is so good. <laughs> so good all right so anyway i hope you enjoyed this look i hope you're as excited as i am i mean it's kind of hard to be as excited as i am i am so excited and i'm looking forward to making more videos again whatever you'd like to see let me know like subscribe to this channel hit the bell it's a good time scriptural artwork is going to be amazing i'll see you 